Being from Miami, one of my favorite things, croquetas. That's right, they're made out of flour, hams, cheeses, yeah, even chicken. You, make, you mix it with some flour and you end up with a croqueta, a staple in Miami. Today, I'm gonna make my favorite serrano ham croquetas with some gorgonzola cheese and we're gonna add a nice sweet touch by adding some guava sauce. It's gonna taste delicious. Perfect for entertaining at home, perfect for a restaurant, perfect for catering, perfect for impressing everybody. These croquetas are filled with love, yeah. So, we're gonna start off with a hot pan. To our pan, we're gonna add some butter. Remember that we have the recipe online. We're gonna add our butter, we're gonna let it melt in there. The best thing to use is room temperature butter. Okay, we wanna make sure that our heat is not so high because we don't want it to burn. When we add our butter, and the butter is burning, let me melt it. Once our butter is soft, we're gonna add some onions, and we're gonna slowly cook it. These croquetas, I won't lie to you, they take a nice amount of time, but the reward at the end, priceless. So we're gonna slowly cook these croquetas, And this is exactly the color we're looking for. We're looking for nice, translucent onions. It smells amazing already. That smell of butter reminds me of culinary school, when we used to start every recipe with butter. So it just reminds me of all those, uh, all those times we would start a dish. Okay, once our onions are translucent, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add our flour. A little at a time, and we mix it and then we add our remaining flour. And then the secret here is just to mix. Keep mixing. You're gonna end up with a small ball. That's okay because it's part of the process. Once all of our flour is incorporated and you don't see any more of the white spots, see if we see white spots, that means we still have to keep mixing. Just keep moving it around, moving it around. Press down, move around, press down. By the sides, move around. So once you end up with the same color and you don't see anything white, we're gonna slowly add our milk. Slowly. And we're gonna start mixing till we have this nice thick paste. It just smells amazing already. And I haven't even started with the ham. So we keep mixing and mixing. Once you add that, we're gonna add our milk. I like adding the milk in three parts so it slowly starts dissolving. So slowly adding the milk, we're gonna use a whisk and we're gonna dissolve these little chunks in here. And then once we're, as it goes dissolving, it starts turning into this nice paste. We're gonna add the remaining of our milk and we're gonna whisk away. And we end up with this nice mixture. Once you put it on the half sheet tray, you're gonna stick it in the freezer, the fridge, for about an hour, hour and a half, why? We need to make sure that this is cool enough so that, that we can mold it into these nice little ball size bites. Ball size bites. Ball size. Ball size bites. So, in the freezer it goes, an hour and a half. We take it out, we end up with this mixture. We're gonna use our nice little ice cream scooper. If you don't have one of these, you can try to do it by your hand. I've done it before, it works, but I have it so might as well use it. What I like to do before starting is that I like to get my little, uh, we're gonna have to coat these. So we have to coat it first through flour, then we have to take it to an egg wash, which is just some egg, two eggs beaten, and then some panko. Now sometimes panko is a little too thick, so what I did is that I put it in my food processor, and I process it just so that it gives me that nice, perfect consistency. So, the first thing we do is we get a nice scoop, and we put it in our hand, and it makes this nice little ball. We drop it in some flour, We always want to shake off the excess flour. We pass it through some egg. And a good technique to use is to use your fork to lift it up right there so we don't break it. And once it's out of the egg, we throw it, bam, in the panko. A little salsa around the panko. When doing this, you want to make sure you cover all sides. What happens is that when it's time to fry this, if you don't do it correctly, it's like a broken pimple. It's going to spread everywhere. So you want to make sure that you close it. Seal it right with the flour then with the egg, and make sure the panko's covered all over. Then we end up with this nice little ball right here. Look at that. It's perfect. What I like to do from here 
You could either freeze it and use it the next day. You could use it for up to a month, two months, three months, as long as you freeze it. Make sure you seal it nicely. I like to freeze them. Once they're frozen, we end up with what we have here. These nice little bites. I get my hot oil ready to 375 degrees. Once you take them out of the freezer, you're gonna end up with these nice little round balls right here. Mm -hmm. So once they're out of the freezer, I take them out and we're ready to fry them. My oil, perfect temperature. We don't want it too hot because it could burn. We don't want it too cold. So here we go, croqueta into the oil pool right there. And slowly we go. We test one and that looks perfect like if it's going very well. We're gonna put in two more, why not? Into the oil pool, you hear that? It's the oil's telling you right there. And it tastes good, that's what it's telling you. Oh yeah, yeah I love them too. Oh yeah, delicious. I got the guava sauce, don't worry. So what we're looking for is this nice golden brown, all of them the same color. Don't make white ones, don't make too dark ones, no. All of them the same color. We're looking for something golden brown. So here we go, I like to get three at a time. And croquetas into the oil pool, like that. Just drop them, and there you have it, that nice, beautiful, golden brown. We take them out and we put them over some parchment paper or some paper towel, and there you go, beautiful croquetas. This is gonna be one delicious bite that you're not gonna forget. You're gonna thank me for this one because it's so delicious. Mm, golden, here we go. So I have here some guava sauce. What is guava sauce? It's guava, you melt it down. However, I didn't do that because thankfully today they sell this canned, so I did it. If you don't have guava sauce, you could use a, a fig jam, a nice fig jam, um, and you spread it around the plate. So today with guava sauce, because we're in Miami, guava, croquetas, croquetas, guava, all make sense. So we're gonna put some of our guava sauce and just put it in the middle like that. Don't have to get too fancy, just let it fall like that. This amount of guava sauce is perfect because we have the sweet and then we have the savory. When the savory meets the sweet, it's like making some love, you know? It's like some love. So we're gonna get three croquetas and we're gonna put one here, one here, and one here. After that, we're gonna get some of our gorgonzola cheese that is inside and we're gonna spread it around the plate like that. And finally, we're gonna put a nice sprig of micro greens. And my favorite part, it's time to try these croquetas. Croquettes, croquetas, croquetas. Here we go. Get some of that guava sauce. Mm. 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 I love you. Mm. Mm. You have the nice sweetness, you have the crunch, you have the savory, you have the saltiness. All of these flavors in your mouth, bam! You like this recipe? Go online, subscribe, like, comment, and eat croquetas. Mm.